In this tutorial I'll use Para 3D 2.8 to sweep a rectangle along four different curves. So let's start by creating four curves. I'm going to use the line tool. And I'm going to make all of these vertices smooth vertices. So I'll open up the line to the vertex sub-object level, select all my vertices, right click on any of them and turn them to smooth. And then I'll adjust the location of these. So um, I'll move them up and down. And I'll just make a copy of this line and I'll make three copies just to speed up this tutorial. And I'm not using instance, I'm using copy so I can still adjust the vertices on each of these lines independently. So now I'll uh, adjust this, the position of these vertices. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is create a rectangle. Uh, so I'll go into my Create tab, um, Splines, and then Rectangle. And I want to convert this to an Edit Spline. I don't want to use the parameters of the rectangle. I want to use the parameters of an Edit Spline. So I'm going to right-click and go to Convert to Edit Spline. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm using corner vertices. So I'm going to select all my vertices. Uh, right click and then turn them into corner vertices and the important thing to note here is that I'm going to use parametric array to attach each of these vertices to one of these lines so I want to know what vertex number I'm using to attach to a line so to do that an easy way is to go to the vertex sub object level in the modify tab and select under selection um, where it says display show vertex number if you check this box you'll see it'll display the vertex number. So now I know that I want to apply the first vertice to this line, the fourth vertice to this line, the second to this line, and the third to this bottom line. So it goes one, two, three, four, um, counterclockwise. So I'll just keep that in mind as I array this object. So next thing I do is to create my array. So I'm going to select para. And I have my parametric array set up in the toolbar. Um, it could be that you have your setup as a quad menu or a separate set of tools or icons. Um, I'm going to make a, a array count of 20. and This will be a linear array, so I don't need a two-dimensional array, so I'll keep this as a one-dimensional array. Um, I can always update this number later, but for now we'll use 20. And then create the array. And it's going to bring up a dialog that asks you if you want to apply transformation of the vertices. We want to transform these vertices as they are arrayed along these curves. So we want to say yes here. And then we want to um, open up the object, go to our master, our master points. And instead of selecting all of the vertices as we sometimes do, I want to select each vertice one at a time. So remember that they're counterclockwise, so I'll start with the first vertice and select the first vertex from the master list and I'll apply a curve controller to that vertice. So the next thing it uh, brings up a dialog it asks you to under spline shape to pick an object so this will be the curve so I'll select pick object and select my first curve and if you animate this that'll allow you to adjust these lines and have the rectangle adjust as you adjust the line so we're going to go ahead and animate this then I'll deselect the first spline. Notice when it becomes animated, this becomes red. So that lets you know that this particular controller is animated. So now we'll select the second vertice, um, add another curve controller, pick our second curve, animate that, um, and then continue with the third vertice. Pick our third curve, animate, and now select fourth vertice and select the fourth curve which is this top curve and hit animate. So you can see that it's now arrayed that rectangle uh, using these four curves as the base object for the array. Um, because I animated that I can now go into any of these vertices 
and move them and you'll see that the array will adjust in real time.